Academic Writing Lecture 10 The Department of Foreign Language Two Foreign Languages Lecturer Shnar Nurmanova The theme of the lecture is Clauses, Independent Clauses, Dependent Clauses The objectives are to define independent clauses, to clarify dependent clauses, to study distance, frequency and manner clauses, to identify reason clauses and result clauses. The plan of the lecture is the first question, independent clauses, the second, dependent clauses, third, distance, frequency and manner clauses, the fourth, reason clauses and result clauses. During the lecture you will get acquainted with the following terms, manner, distance, independent, clarify, frequency, subordinate, reason, result, coordinator, subordinated, compound, etc. So, clauses are building blocks of sentences. A clause is a group of words that contains at least a subject and a verb. There are two kinds of clauses, independent and dependent. An independent clause contains a subject and a verb and expresses a complete thought. It can stand alone as a sentence by itself. An independent clause is formed with a subject and a verb and often a complement. A dependent clause begins with a subordinator such as when, while, if, that or who. A dependent clause does not depend, express a complete thought, so it is not a sentence by itself. A dependent clause is also called a segment, sentence fragment. By itself, it is an incomplete sentence and it is an error. A dependent clause is formed with a subordinator, a subject and a verb. For example, subordinator when the sun rose, because water evaporates, climate zones, whom the voters elected, if the drought continues, etc. Subordinators such as after, before, that, when, which, although, even, though, whenever, while, as, just, as, how, unless, there are, who, as if, until, wherever, whom, because, so, that, etc. A sentence is a group of words that you use to continue your ideas. Every sentence is formed from one or more clauses and expresses a complete thought. The four basic kinds of sentences in English are simple, compound, complex and compound complex. The kind of sentence is determined by the kind of clauses used to form it. A simple sentence is one independent clause. For example, fresh water boils at 100 degrees Celsius at sea level. A compound sentence is two or more independent clauses joined together. There are three ways to join the clauses. With a coordinator, for example, salt water boils at a higher temperature than fresh water, so food cooks faster in salt water. The second, with a coordinate co conjunctive adverb. Salt water boils at a higher temperature than fresh water, therefore food cooks faster in salt water with a semicolon. Salt water boils at a higher temperature than fresh water. Food cooks faster in salt water. So here semicolon between the sentences. Compound sentence with coordinators. A compound sentence can be formed as follows. Independent clause plus coordinator plus independent clause. Salt water boils at a lower temperature than fresh water, comma, so food cooks faster in salt water. There are seven coordinators, which are also called coordinating conjunctions. You can remember them by phrase, fanboys, for, and, no, but, or, yet, so. The following sentences will illustrate the meaning of the seven fanboys coordinators. Punctuation note, there is a comma after the first independent clause. The coordinators, but and yet, have similar meanings. They both signal that an opposite meaning idea is coming. But 
is preferred when the two clauses are direct opposites. When the second clause is an unexpected or surprising continuation because of information given in the first clause, yet it is preferred. But it is acceptable for both meanings, yet for only one meaning. For example, I want to study art, but my parents want me to study engineering. Direct opposite. I am very bad at math, yet my parents want me to study engineering. Surprising continuation after I am very bad at math. Compound sentences with conjunctive adverbs. A second way to form a compound sentence is as follows. Independent clause plus conjunctive adverb plus independent clause salt water boils at a higher temperature than fresh water. Therefore, food cooks faster than in salt water. So a punctuation note. Put a semicolon before a comma after a conjunctive adverb. Several transition signals such as on the other hand, as a result, and for example, act like conjunctive adverbs. They can also connect independent clauses with a semicolon and comma. Compound sentences with semicolons. A third way to form a compound sentence is to connect the two independent clauses with a semicolon alone. Independent clause. Poland was the first Eastern European country to turn away from communism. Others soon followed. This kind of compound sentence is possible only when the two independent clauses are closely related in meaning. If they are not closely related, they should be written as two simple sentences for each ending with a period. A complex sentence contains one independent clause and one dependent clause. We place the more important idea in the independent clause and the less important idea in the dependent clause. There are three kinds of independent clauses adverb, adjective, and noun. Complex sentences with adverb clauses, independent adverb clause, etc. Adverb clauses of distance answer the question how far, how often. Adverb clauses of manner answer the question how, distance frequency and most but not all manner clauses follow the independent clause. S plus adverb plus S distance. Fire had destroyed the trees in the forest as far as the eye could see. S plus adverb plus S frequency. I do not visit my parents as often as they would like me to. S manner. We fixed the chemicals exactly as the lab instructor had told us to. S plus adverb plus S manner. Our instructor asked us to fill out the questionnaire as carefully as we could. As if as though manner. The bus engine sounds as if though it is going to stall at any moment. In informal spoken English, people often like use in place as if and as though. Like is not correct in formal written English, so use only as if as though in your writing. It looks as if it is going to rain formal. It looks it is going to rain informal. It is very formal. For example, in such sentences as John acts as if he were in Prince of Wales, as, as if he were the Prince of Wales, and informal. John acts as if he is the Prince of Wales. In adverb reason clauses, un, un, the question why is answered. A reason clause can come before or after the independent clause in sentence. Because Europeans are in some ways better environmentalists than North Americans because they are more used to conveying energy, conserving energy. Since, since many Europeans live, work and shop in the same locate, they are quite accustomed to riding bicycles, trains and streetcars to get around. As, as the price of gasoline has always been quite high in Europe, most Europeans drive high, mainly uh, automobiles, 
that use less fuel. An adverb result cause expresses the effect of consequence of the information in the independent clause. A result clause follows the independent clause in a sentence. So adjective adverb plus a debt. Joanna Cookie's business is so successful that she hired three new employees last week. New orders are coming so rapidly that the, she has expanded her production facilities. Such and noun plus that. Joanna Cookies are such a success that she is considering franchising the business. So much money plus noun that. Running the business takes so much time now that John no longer does the baking herself. There were so many orders for her holiday cookies that her workers were baking 24 hours a day. So little few plus noun plus that. Now John has so little free time that she has not taken a vacation in months. Her cookies contain so few calories that even people in, on diets can enjoy them. There are the important points covered in this lecture. So, clauses, main blocks of sentences. There are two kinds of clauses, independent and dependent. An independent clause expresses a complete thought. English grammar is easy, can be a sentence by itself. A dependent clause begins with a subordinator. It cannot be a sentence by itself. It is one of three there are one of three types adverb, adjective or noun. Adverb because grammar is easy, adjective which is in Spanish, noun that grammar is easy. We build different kinds of sentences in English by combining clauses in different patterns. A simple sentence is one independent clause. A compound sentence is two independent clauses joined by a coordinator, a conjunctive adverb or a semicolon. A complex sentence is one independent and one more dependent clauses. A compound complex sentence has two independent clauses and one or more dependent clauses. The type of sentences you write depends on your message. When you want to show that ideas are equal, use more coordinated structures such as a compound sentence. When ideas are not equal, you will use subordinate structures such as complex sentences. Develop a good writing style by mixing sentence types. So, for reviewing the lecture, therefore answer the following questions. Clauses are the main building blocks of sentences. There are two types of clauses, independent and dependent, and we build different kinds of sentences in English by combining clauses in different patterns. And questions. What are the clauses? What kinds of clauses do you know? What are dependent clauses? What are independent clauses? What is a compound clause or sentence? And use the following sources. Alice Oshima and Hawk writing academic English and the following sites.